We begin with the two men facing weapons of mass destruction charges accused of setting off a series of explosions. Yeah, police in Warrington say the pair of suspects had several homemade explosives on them when they were caught. Action News reporter Trish Hartman live at the Warrington Police Department today with more on the arrest and what led up to it, Trish. Well, Brian, neighbors that we spoke to today say they're used to hearing the occasional firework or two, but they say this was not fireworks. Police say it turned out to be dangerous homemade explosives using flash powder, which is often found in IEDs. Now two men are in custody. It was more than a firework. And it was just a loud explosion woke us right up. For some folks who live near the Valley Square Shopping Center in Warrington, they were jolted awake early Sunday morning. And then twice after that, within that half next half hour, we did hear it two more times. While groggy neighbors were trying to figure out what the noise was, a police officer on patrol also heard the loud bang and called for backup. As police got closer, they saw a white SUV leaving the scene. There's a plume of smoke rising above the trees he pointed to as he's driving through it and he could smell the gunpowder. So he knew that. So that was our nexus to link into the car. Police pulled the SUV over at Street and Easton Roads where they say they saw more explosives inside the vehicle in plain view. One looked like the size of a softball and it was made of cardboard or paper and the other one looked like a soda bottle and they had wicks sticking out of them. And then one of the officers what was really concerning was one of them had a charred it almost looked like it was set to go off and it did not go off. So they put it back in the car, which is crazy. The Philadelphia bomb squad was called in to assist. Police arrested the two men in the van, 40 year old Vadim Pakusov of Warminster and 47 year old Vladimir Nasachev of Philadelphia. They're charged with possessing or manufacturing weapons of mass destruction, arson, risking catastrophe and more. A small hole in the grass is left where police say one of the explosives went off. They're still trying to figure out a motive. They're in their 40s. These are middle-aged adults, and they're out here playing with handmade explosive devices at 3.30 in the morning in the suburbs. Now, both suspects are locked up in the Bucks County Prison. Investigators are still working on this and are sending information to federal partner agencies. Anyone who heard anything or saw anything between 2 and 4 a.m. on Sunday morning is encouraged to call Warrington Police. Reporting live in Warrington, Trish Hartman, Channel 6, Action News. Sarah.